So the next thing that we're going to do is add our package for Vuforia. And so Vuforia is the uh, augmented reality engine or SDK that we're going to be using to add, make our augmented reality stuff come to life. And so what we'll do is we go to developer.vuforia.com. Once you do that, it will take you to this screen and it gives you a little bit of information. As you can see, May, May 6, you've added some uh, stability and some uh, improved tracking and recognition. Uh, so we'll just go to login. And for me, I have a login account already, but you can register for a free account. And once you do that, you go to login. And then we will use or get a development key. For me, I like to use the same development key that I have here. But you just click get development key. Once you do that, you name the development key. You click confirm or you click the checkbox and then you click confirm. After you do that, it will give you, it will make a license key available for you. And so we'll make sure that we have that. And then we'll actually go to downloads. And so I like to just right click and uh, right click and open in a new tab. And so we'll go to downloads. You'll see that it says add Vuforia engine to the Unity project or upgrade to the latest version. And so we will do that. If you're trying to do something for HoloLens, then you would probably want to use this package. If you were trying to do something for Android or iOS, you would probably want to use these packages here. And so we'll use add Vuforia engine. We go to agree. And then from there, we'll just add this to our desktop. And so we'll go back to Unity and we'll go to Assets. We'll go to Import Package, Custom Package. And from there, we'll go to our desktop and scroll down to where it says Add Vuforia Package. We'll double click that. It will add the Vuforia package and we'll click import. Then it will say, would you like to uh, update this to the latest version and add this to the package manager? You say yes, you will click update. And now that we have that, uh, to confirm, you go to window and then you go to Vuforia configuration. If that is there, if that means that you have Vuforia. Uh, installed. Another thing that you can do is you could also go to the package manager and so by going to the package manager first you go to window then you go to package manager and then you could scroll all the way down and you will find Vuforia engine AR and so that typically will be there and you could install it from there if you don't want to go to the website and then you could upgrade from there but at the end, you want to make sure that if, if it's installed, you will have this check mark. And if you want to change to a different version, you could change to the different versions as well. But we have it installed. And so the next thing that we'll do is we'll go to Vuforia configuration, which is Windows Vuforia configuration. And then we will say we want to add our license. And so you just click add license. So I'll just go back to uh, my AR test key. I'll just click it and notice how it says copy to clipboard. So then I will copy and paste that right there. And that is all we need to do to set up our AR. So from there, uh, I will be using my webcam to test all this stuff. Um, and there are ways to test this on a mobile device in real time but I, I tend to want to use my webcam. Uh, one thing when you're looking to develop stuff for mobile devices, particularly Android and iOS, uh, I would like to say that you want to have this required because it, it allows you to use certain functionality that often is not uh, available for older devices. And so for augmented reality, if you want them to have a specific experience, you want to make sure that they have the right equipment first. Otherwise, they shouldn't. They wouldn't be able to uh, download the app. 